How's it going guys? This is Eric with Deranged Survival and today we're going to go over how to make a feather stick. And uh, what I'm going to use to make a feather stick is a uh, pine branch. And pine is really good to use. It has volatile oils on the inside. It's actually the sap. And uh, it has uh, what they call fat wood. It's basically resin soaked wood that's uh, highly flammable and great for starting a fire. So I'm going to use uh, pine tree here. The best part about pine trees is if you find a large one like this one here, usually the branches on the bottom are already dead and easy to break off and great for starting a fire. So I can not only collect these small branches to get the fire going, but I can also break a big branch off and uh, make it into a feather stick. So let's go over that today and I'm going to grab me a good one and get this going. So to make the feather stick, I'm going to use a stick that's about a foot long, maybe a little bit longer. All right, so I got my stick here. Um, first thing I usually do is break off these little uh, edges where the branches are. So I just hold the stick firm, and I got a large knife here, which makes this fairly easy. Because pine is a soft wood, it's very easy to carve. So you just want to kind of knock off all the spots where the branches are. And you want to find a stick that's fairly straight. So that's good there, and then you just want to simply just peel off all the bark. You don't have to dig deep into it, just scrape the bark off. Alright guys, so I got my pine branch here, I sawed off this edge, and I basically shaved down on the bark. And now what I'm going to do is I have my EDC here. It's my everyday carry. It's a Gerber Gator pocket knife, foldable pocket knife. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shave down this bark so it's a square as opposed to round like it is right now. So I'm basically going to shave down this end, do thick scrapes, turn it, and shave down this side. Just like that. Turn it, shave down this side. Just like that, and then the last side here. So it's not perfect, but as you can see, now it's a square as opposed to round. The reason I'm going to do that is now, with feather sticking, I can cut the spine here and it's going to curl a lot better as opposed to it being round. So you basically want to find a hard surface, place the stick, hold it firm. And now there's three techniques that I usually do. I usually have one technique is keeping the knife completely uh, horizontal and scraping down. Another one is pointing the knife downwards and scraping. And another direction is pointing the knife upwards and scraping down. So usually if I'm on the, I'm on the left side, well my left, your right, I'll scrape down with the knife facing down. If I'm in the center, I'll keep it straight. And if I'm on the right side, I'll keep it upwards. So let's try now. Right now I'm on the left side, so I'm going to scrape down. Now this takes a little getting used to. You want to make sure your knife is really sharp, but you can make really fine curls with that spine there. And sometimes they do fall off. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. And usually at the very end, I'll bend my knife uh, forward so it peels the curl up a little bit. And you kind of want to be really gentle, but you want the knife to dig into the wood a little bit as you're curling. So they get thicker at the bottom, just like that. Now, I'm no expert at this, but with a little bit of practice, you can get good at it. So as you're curling, you want to press into the wood so the curl gets thicker and thicker, or else it'll fall right off.
that's the basics of it. These I dug into the wood a little bit too much so it doesn't curl properly. As you can see these are thicker as opposed to these ones that are really fine and curly. And uh, my knife does have some, it does have some uh, kinks in it. I don't know if it's focusing but there's a bunch of kinks right here so sometimes that gets caught in the wood and it doesn't curl properly so I need to sharpen my knife. But that's the basics of it. So you want to use uh, a piece of wood that has bark on it. So when you scrape that bark off, the inside of the wood is going to be completely dry. Uh, pine is great for that because it has resinous oils on the inside, also known as fat wood or pine resin. And um, it's great for, you want to use the soft wood for this because soft woods are much easier to carve with. And it'll burn a lot easier once you put it on the fire. So the reason for these feather sticks is to basically create your own kindling. You can start a whole fire with just one large stick. You can break it down into fine kindling, make a couple feather sticks with it, and use that to get your fire going. So I can light these curls right here with my ferro rod, no problem. And I'm going to do that for you guys in just a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's effective. So that's my curls there, and I'm going to light it up. One thing you should practice is when you collect materials, any materials that you have, kindling, uh, especially tinder, you want to pr uh, practice keeping it in a dry spot. So never leave it on the ground, you know, place it up on a rock or something, but make sure it's not windy. You know, put it in your pocket, place it in your backpack, just basically put it in a dry spot. Because even just putting this down on the damp ground, it could wet the tinder and it won't work as effectively. So something to keep in mind. So I just got my big ferro rod here, light my fire striker, my scraper, and uh, let's get it going. So preferably I wouldn't do it in this condition, obviously if the ground is soaking wet, but this is for demonstration purposes. So basically you want to place the ferro rod firmly on the ground, keep it close to the area that you need to light, and then you basically scrape it nice and hard. Pressing down and then I usually stop at the very end so it concentrates all the sparks into one location So here we go. Can I do it? No pressure Oh look at that that was easy so now it lights and you basically just turn it move it Add more material to it And you'll get it going now. This is gonna burn really fast because it's pine Oh, it smells good But that's the basics of it so hopefully this is a helpful tip guys. Hopefully I got everything in frame here because the camera got a weird angle. But that's it. That's all I got. Put it out quick. It's gonna light the forest on fire. Yeah, it's out. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate all the views, comments, and support. If you have any advice on feather stick making, please let me know, comment below. I'm sure other people would like to hear it as well. So I just want to thank you all for watching. And that's all I got. Yeah! I'm out of here.